Hey, welcome friends once again on this session on solving problems related to arithmetic progression and specifically we are dealing with middle term problems. Okay, so this question says in an AP with even number of terms prove that the sum of two middle terms is equal to the sum of first and the last terms. Okay, so like we proved for the odd one, we will try and prove for this one as well. So let us assume. So let's say, let us say, let us say that that there are there are n terms n terms in the AP. Okay, and n is even. N is even. Therefore, we can say n is equal to 2k, right? For some non-negative k, non-negative integer, right? Non-negative means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, yeah, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, integer, non-negative integer k. k is a non-negative integer. Okay, so middle term. Middle terms, middle terms middle terms of an AP of an AP with even number of terms even number of terms right is given by R basically R T n by 2 and T n by 2 plus 1 isn't it we know that there are two middle terms is in case of even number of terms right so in this case what will happen n is 2k so this this means they are t k and t k plus 1 these are the two terms two middle terms where n is 2k isn't it so dear friends t k will be from our basic definition of nth term it will be k minus 1 d where t 1 is equal to first term and d is what common difference no big deal correct common difference so hence similarly i can say t k plus one that is the second middle term is t one plus k plus one minus one times d right this is first middle term and this is second middle term okay they are saying add of, add both of them. So let's add both of them. So you'll get tk plus tk plus 1 will be equal to t1 plus t1 will give you 2t1. And this is simply d common k minus 1. And then this one and this one anyways will go. So only k will be left d. Isn't it? Right. So hence this is nothing but 2t1 plus 2k minus 1 d. Isn't it? Now remember, what did we assume? n is equal to 2k. So we can write n is equal to 2k right now. So hence this is and separate these t1 also. So t1 plus t1 plus n minus 1 d. 2 t1 was separated as t1 and t1. And this one. Now focus on this term. This is nothing but the last term. So this is t1 plus tn. Isn't it? Is equal to first term plus last term okay so sum of the two middle terms we started from here is equal to first term plus last term that is what this question was asking you to prove right 